Like, do you think? I have a question because we're we're talking about all this Batman stuff. Um, do you think now that G four is gone, I can like talk about stuff? Okay, so like I thought a bunch of people were hate. Well, apparently, there was like a whole like brigade of people like hating on wanting to cancel Batman or whatever, and I didn't like know about it. So or what? Okay, so like people are always like yo g4 shut down because of this or that and i'm like bro i was already sus with g4 shutting down from the interview process because like they offered me like a host position or whatever and like you got to relocate out to la right you know like if we go through the final selection mm. blah 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 so i go through the interview process and like the guy that was interviewing me um he goes so why should we cancel batman and uh what I was like, wait, what? And he's like, yeah, um, why, why do you believe we should cancel Batman? And I was like, why are we canceling Batman? He's like, because he's rich and he's white. And uh, I was like... This only surprises people if they never engaged with an explicit left-leaning geek community. I remember when I went on Facebook and I tried to infiltrate the Warhammer 40k feminist community. It was locked. And the only way you could access it is if you answered a couple of questions. And I believe the first question was to explain what the patriarchy is. The second question was to explain if I feel that women are being discouraged from partaking into video gaming culture. And the third question is like, what would I do in order to help women achieve equality in video games? Because none of it is about the actual thing. Like, G4 is supposed to be about video games and it's supposed to be about cu uh, cultural stuff. It's th th They don't care about that at all. Like, that is secondary. That is just something icky they have to put up with. And they use that in order to promote their message. Because their message is shit. Like, their message by itself doesn't sell. No one wants to touch it. It's icky. It's it's awful. So, so they need to wrap it up in presentable clothing. And in this situation at G4, it's like, oh, they wrap it up in the presentable clothing of video games. Hey, you're watching video games, but you're actually going to get the message. Um, and in order to make sure that the people know the message, they, they have to ask certain questions. Uh, basically, yeah, if, if you're a far-left identitarian, like, oh, well, you hate Batman because he's white and he's rich. Simple as. Right? So unless you hate the rich, which is part of socialism, and, and unless you, you don't like white people, which is part of the, the identity politics that's in modern-day America on the left, then you can't join there. You, you can't work. And, and they will automatically know that you are part of the club if you answer correctly. Uh, now, of course, people are shocked because they don't know that this is happening, but it's happening at a lot of corporations. It's happening at a lot of places that they use as entertainment, uh, comic books, uh, usually not the, the major ones. Uh, they, they try to be a lot more subtle because they understand the damage that it can do to their brand. But yeah, like you're going to get the HR lady, the middle management, uh, which are going to ask these types of questions. And of course, the higher ups probably don't even know. Because they're automatically like trying to screen to see what type of people get to be in their company. So that uh, when the management goes like, oh, why are we losing money? The HR lady goes like, shut the fuck up or we're doing a walkout. Or we're contacting our people in the press. So that's what's going on. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.